peace and love. The beautiful Libras. I hope you're all doing well this morning. Let's go ahead and tap. Uh -huh. Let's get into this energy. Today, we're going to tap into the energy of your person. All right? Whoever it is that is on your mind, okay? Whoever it is you've been thinking about. Whoever it is that is on the front of your mind. Who you're trying to get out of your mind. You know who that person is, okay? And it will work both ways. We'll be able to see their communication with this energy read as well, okay? So let's get into it. <clears throat> this is about your person. I pulled the Morocco X deck out because we're going to see what your person is dealing with, okay? On a spiritual, on a mental and physical level, okay? On a soulful level. So let's talk about it. <clears throat> Leave this person. Leave this person. I hope that you're all doing well in this full moon, uh huh? This beautiful, powerful moon that we're in, okay? Very powerful moon. And we are dealing with the eclipse. So therefore, this is why I'm going in the energy. Because I want to see what's going on as this eclipse is eclipsing, all right? Beautiful ones, if you are here for the energy, go ahead, hit the like button. Uh-huh, yeah, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Uh-huh, I'd appreciate the generosity that I give out to be replenished through the like button. Uh-huh, like button doesn't hurt anyone. Uh-huh, and it'll help others as well unless you're self-serving okay let's talk about it all right beautiful ones try i love you all leave this person okay mm -hmm. all right we'll pull four for these leave this person leave this person okay wow I know that's your person because you do not get these cards, at least not often, all right? Oh, yeah, they're being affected in this eclipse. Who's this person? Okay, so we got four. Wow. So this is what's going on with your person, okay? First off, your overall energy is self exhalation Evaluating self-importance is manifesting and prideful attitude towards others. So they're basically manifesting karma and they don't know it. Practice humility. Humility reminds you that success doesn't all come from what you have, but what you offer to others. This is what I was talking about with the like button, okay? Being self-serving, right? Mm -hmm. You manifest literally your own downfall, okay? By not extending what is being given to you. It's just universal law, beautiful ones, okay? Let me read this. Humility reminds you that success doesn't all come from what you have, but what you offer others. Recognize your strengths and weaknesses and be willing to learn from others to achieve more, okay? So, for instance, if you're here and you're a part of the tribe or you're just an onlooker of the tribe, you're actually here learning, okay? So what is it that you give back to the teacher? <laughs> you know what I mean? What is it you give back to the lessons? Yeah. Mm. I like that because that's so real. So this is the state of mind that your person is. So this tells me that I do have a lot of cross watchers watching. Okay. All or nothing thinking stops you from growing, adapting, and enjoying anything that isn't perfect. Honor your progress. If you move past seeing in black and white, the world opens up to an array of colorful possibilities. 
The key is to remind yourself there are more than two outcomes for just about any situation, okay? So your person has an all or nothing type of attitude as well as they're ungrateful, okay? So whatever it is that you have given them or shown them, they don't have any humility when it comes to that, all right? It's like someone has to look at a reflect, reflection of, you know, them seeing themselves as bigger than what they really are. You see, the kitten and the lion. It's like self-reflection of one. Your person could be dealing with some legal matters as well, okay? Bad contract, not paying debts, divorce, adding to responsibility or shady work. Restore harmony, face your life honestly. No matter how inconvenient that truth might be, if you choose to proceed with integrity and honesty, you will find yourself on a stable pathway towards success, okay? So someone is dealing with legal issues, all right? Mm -hmm. And it can be any of those things that were named, okay? And I knew this card was going to come out. This is planetary positions, planetary positions. There are adverse planetary positions that are affecting your success. Do a good deed. It is your free will that can diffuse the worst of the planetary combinations or trigger good results by using them to your advantage. One way is by doing good deeds to activate positive energies, okay? So, for instance, beautiful ones, if someone is going through karma, they're going through karma. It's theirs to keep, okay? So, this isn't like a get out of jail free card, all right? It's letting you know that whatever it is you have going on in order to help give a different effect of it or even ease in the energy, it's really your way or your person's way of learning how to adapt throughout what it is they've given the universe, okay? By giving back to others, okay? When do you start to really free yourself up from the karma that you've collected for yourself? And with the planetary positions that's happening with the eclipse, they will want to operate in this energy or they just feel the full brunt of it, okay? So your person is be suffering with these planetary positions. If they don't know that, you know, their actions and their ways are, you know, really what's contributing to what it is that is going on in the energy, um, they'll be getting the rough end of the stick on it, okay? Divine timing is here. No blocks exist. Just the timeline of your success is not only up to you. Let go and trust. Though things may be slow or frustrating or not make sense, divine timing assures you that the universe is placing people, things, lessons, and more into your life only when you are ready. Okay, this is about doing that work. People aren't going to show up in your life to support you until you are ready. So they're going through some rough times right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it came from having the all or nothing attitude and also not practicing any type of humility, okay? So, Spirit is telling me to split the deck, a lack of specificity, okay? I talked about this in our manifestation read that came out this morning for you all. Have, a, have set very vague goals. They're hard to visualize and hard to obtain. This is what came out in the reading. Your person, basically, they set the bar high when it comes to things that they are not equipped to have nor are obtain, or at least not able to keep them once they get them. Give your mind time to process everything that crosses your field and vision so that you can set a clear intention for your manifestations to work. Become conscious, the conscious creator of your life. This is literally what I talked about, okay? 
this morning um, in the release recording for you all about manifestations, about being intentional and having this vision already seen in your mind. So your person is basically, they live in a lot of illusion. This card wants to be seen because they're a success vampire. People are taking away your time, your ideas are draining your energy. Your person is a vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're being told to protect yourself with this energy, okay? This is someone that, you know, could have seen you in a successful light and wanted to dim it, okay? It's just that simple. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this energy. Let's get into this energy. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, so your person is basically feeling the brunt of this eclipse, because of selfishness, okay? Many of them are dealing with legal problems. Many of them are dealing with themselves, okay? Libra's person. Tell us this energy. Give us this energy. What's going on with Libra's person? Okay. Wow. They're deciding not to give into a situation anymore, okay? This is the Six of Pentacles that's in... The reverse, all right? This is, you know, things are eclipsing. They want a new beginning in this energy, all right? So they're no longer giving to a situation. And I feel like it's causing some problems, okay? In this energy. Because everybody can't handle the truth. You know what I mean? Let's talk. The truth, like I said, everybody can't handle it. And it's out. It is out, okay? Things have become very clear. And there's karma that's being handed down over raw energy, okay? Yeah. More cards. Leave this person. What's going on in the energy? Leave this person. All right. Wow. King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles is in, in reverse. This is somebody's baby daddy, somebody's father figure, someone who is supposed to, you know, be the breadwinner of some sort that could be a businessman or owner. It's not looking good. Everything is in the reverse with this King of Pentacles, including employment, okay? Whatever it is that they do, the skill set that they're in, they don't have this to do anymore, okay? They're not able to practice this skill set. Someone could have lost their job. Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse, along with the King of Pentacles in reverse. I split the deck. There's some type of fast movement that's happening in the energy. And I feel like this energy is happening, and it's not good energy that's being thrown their way with the Eight of Wands energy, okay? This is rapid pet, uh, you know, rapid motion has happened and it could even be some communication that's unwelcomed or things that it is that they do not want to hear. Let's get one more out here. All right, yeah, they're doing a lot of resting, a lot of retreating in this energy with the Four of Pentacles because someone has to really think about how they turned their whole destiny upside down. Someone's destiny is in the reverse, okay? Mm, this is a lot of missed opportunities and a lot of bad luck overall energy. Someone is sitting in the energy of this, okay? Mm. Give me the six of pentacles. What aren't they no longer getting to? What is the six of, thank you. Six of pentacles is in reverse. Wow. Love. Love. And look, here goes the clarification with the overall energy. So it's like someone no longer wants to give to something what they saw was you know a gift a divine love they are going to move forward this offer this is someone that was chasing you in the energy is what I'm getting and because you took your power back this energy is being forced to move forward this is what's showing up because it's, it's too much of a painful ending. Two of swords, two of swords. I mean, I don't know about you all beautiful ones, but this is the best thing I've heard all week. 
okay? Your person, this King of Pentacles in reverse, they have nothing to give anyway. So why chase you in the energy? Someone knows that this is a painful ending. They were running after you with this cup, you know, at least in the energy of not wanting to let go. But they're being told to move forward. Six of Pentacles is in reverse. This is no longer given to a situation, even though they know it was a divine circumstance with the Ace of Cups being here, even though they have all this great amount of love, it's time for them to move forward. And look, karma, justice. It's like create your own balance and justice in your life so you don't have to sit in this ten of swords. But this is also you, Libra. It's a painful ending, but they have to move on. They have to let you go. Wow. This energy has awakened. Seven of Cups is in reverse. They're not confused anymore. This is someone coming into grasp, at least today, okay, as to what it is that needs to take place. Uh, yeah, this is a magician. This is someone who, you know, is realizing that they have to utilize their magic for something else. Give me this Ace of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, I mean, because they feel left out in the cold. They're having financial issues, five of pentacles, uh-huh. And all they do is long to move forward in the energy. Expansion, when it comes to expansion, with a queen of pentacles, they wanted to be victorious in this energy, okay? They did. Uh, but they are too imbalanced with the two of pentacles here. And they have so many burdens. Ten of Wands. Give me the Ace of Swords of these troops. Ace of Swords with these troops. Ace of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Someone is sitting in this energy. Your person is sitting in their energy, really having a question in their lives. Look, here's the truth. Here's the truth. Ace of Swords. This, it became very clear to this King of Pentacles in reverse that you're moving forward, chariot, okay? Yeah, you're moving forward. And overall energy is you're the wish fulfillment that is getting away, Libra. You are the one that got away. And this is something that they have to accept. And they're just trapped in their mind about it. This is what has kept them really <clears throat> stuck, watching you, worried about what it is you're doing, okay? It's like someone is over themselves or needs to get over themselves. Someone is feeling like all I'm doing is really stalking the Libra. You know, she's a wish fulfillment, but I'm trapped in my head about this energy and she's moved forward. I mean, the Libra has already left the building and they're still here. Give me the King of Pentacles in reverse. All right, wow. Destiny comes out in the upright. This is their destiny. The King of Pentacles in reverse that has missed the opportunity. Four of Cups. Yeah. They missed the opportunity when it came to being aligned with their destiny. Destiny with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you. Wow. Prosperity and abundance was a part of their destiny. They missed this opportunity with this Queen of Cups energy. Someone who was empathetic, kind, nurturing, and caring, that's the karma that they placed on their destiny. This is what I talk about when I talk about generational curses. You know, really, you are the curse breaker. And when you know that you have the ability to use your magic in ways that will break generational curses and you choose to go the other way, you actually end up repeating a cycle, <clears throat> bringing a death to yourself. Karma, a death, this is endings, and a cycle being closed. Someone has closed out their destiny, really sitting in this energy of losing what it is that could have been promised to them. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and they're getting karma instead. 
Give me the Ace of Pentacles with the Destiny for the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. You got two cards to come out. Burdens for an Emperor. This is a boss energy. Ten of Wands that comes out with the Emperor. Nothing but burdens for an Emperor energy. Flip and switch these energies, okay? For my Divine Masculines who are dealing with Empresses are an Empress who is in <clears throat> excuse me, masculine energy, okay, um, who's not so impressing, right, so they sacrificed themselves, mm -hmm. they did, overall energy is the hangman mm, and their family, whoever it is they are connected to, to the pentacles, this was a sacrifice, look, when it came to the lovers, the choice, whoever it is they chose to build a family with, collaborate with, with the three of pentacles, even the home front, they sacrificed it all. It's nothing but burdens for this energy. Yeah, it's like, wow. And they're depressed because if they could, they would. They would sacrifice everything for you, this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Someone who is self-sufficient. Mm. Give me the Four of Swords. What what are they thinking about while they lay in this energy, Okay. Wow, they're thinking about expansion, three of wands. They're thinking about harmony. They're thinking about things coming into fruitation. This is them wanting to manifest and bring in some things, okay? Give me the three of wands. All right. Wow, the devil. They're very mad that they're not able to do this. Because mm -hmm. they sacrificed themselves. They did. Wow. In this card, and they missed the opportunity. This is the card that was sticking up. They missed the opportunity. They're mad at themselves. I mean, they almost hate themselves. I mean, they do, okay? Wow. They're broke. They're left out in the cold. They have legal issues. They're filled with demonic spirits and burdens and financial issues. They missed out on a love of a lifetime. A chance at abundance. They sacrifice all this. Mm. And here you are moving on. This is the truth that they have to face. This is the cold truth, okay? Give me the chariot and the ace of swords. Chariot and the ace of swords. Wow, yeah, you're moving on to a new offer. You are, because you're the queen of pentacles. Yeah, this is a solid offer for a Queen of Pentacles energy. Tell us more for my Libras. Knight of Pentacles energy. Knight of Pentacles energy. Wow. Secrets. Things that were hidden is what really brought this chain of events on. Because the tower is here. Everything had to be torn down in order for this energy to exist with you, right? So while this person is sitting with these secrets and in this tower and this missed opportunity, okay, due to sacrificing even you in this energy, give me this energy of the Knight of Pentacles with the moon. regret and a painful ending mm. grief regret and a painful ending this is what it is they don't want you to know they don't want you to know all the grief regret this is what's hidden they don't want you to know how painful this is to them but it's written all over the cards yeah your person from the past six of pentacles who has awakened to really their own stuck in this. Because the Seven of Cups is in reverse when it comes to the Queen of Swords. You had to cut them off. I mean, yeah. Give us this devil energy. Give us this devil energy. 
tell us more. Mm. Tell us more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said on the top, they're heartbroken. They're in devil energy with heartbreak because it is ending this death. Mm. And they're in the synergy of a king of swords. Or they know you have a king of swords energy that has, look, they're heartbroken over this death that's ending, okay? You have a king of swords energy. Someone that is, you know, noble, okay? Uh -huh, truthful in this energy that has a cup of love for you that is bringing this emotion to you, right? And you have this energy blocked. And they sit in this heartache and heartbreak. Wanting to communicate to you is what I'm getting. But you close the cycle. Mm-hmm. They're mad because there's no communication and that even communication wouldn't change the outcome. Tell us about this energy of the Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. They know that the love you have for them doesn't exist anymore. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. It just doesn't exist. You're the Queen of Swords. You cut this energy off. You cut this energy off. And they're manifesting you. They definitely are. But it's this energy of you getting away is what I'm getting. Seven of Swords is like, wow. Wow. They're definitely manifesting you. Look, they're manifesting you. And they're doing it sneaky. They're behind closed doors manifesting you. In magician energy, okay? A new love. They want to restart. This is someone who thinks they can press a button. Uh-huh. With someone from the past. And have that nostalgic energy back. Okay? But it doesn't work like that. It does not. They've awakened. But it's too little too late. It's just too late. Hmm. You're the queen of swords in this energy. And ain't nothing sweet. <laughs> I just see a bunch of misery that they're sitting in. And this is what's going on with your person. I'm going to split the deck. Wow. You're in this energy of a nine of pentacles, self-sufficient. And really building up your pentacles, okay? Uh-huh. You're your own wish fulfillment. And it was a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. It was. Someone sacrificed you. An empress. They sacrificed an empress. For this energy, who is a queen of pentacles, who is winning, okay? And who was headed towards the ten of pentacles. This is what they sacrificed you for. Because you make choices differently now when it comes to lovers. And you put a death to what it is you have with them. It's a wrap. Beautiful ones. This is what's going on with your person in the eclipse. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Become a part of this metaphysical tribe. I am Empress 444. And this is the Turbo Dynasty. Peace and love.